The rumors are true, folks. The PlayStation 5 Pro is indeed a real thing, and Sony sent me one. I guess they felt a little bit bad about not sending me a PlayStation 5 when it first released. They haven't even announced this yet, but I guess they wanted me to check it out because here it is, the PlayStation 5 Pro. You can see it's a lot smaller than the original PlayStation 5, and it says it right there, GS5 Pro. GS5. Well, I guess that's probably just like a prototype name for it. Like I said, this hasn't even been officially unveiled yet, but much like Wood and his Legend of Zelda Switch Ola that he got, I got my hands on this bad boy. So let's check out the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro together, unbox it, and check out the games. All right, so first and foremost, a huge thank you to Sony for sending this over. You know, I got kind of upset that I never get any, you know, the cool stuff. I didn't get a PS5 from Sony. I didn't get an Xbox Series. I don't get Nintendo Switches from Nintendo. But Sony, you know, they, they hooked me up with this. I, I'm kind of surprised that... It doesn't have the Sony branding on this box. I'm not sure if this is like a prototype box because obviously this has not come out yet. But we could see here, it clearly says GS5 Pro. I'm sure that's just a typo though. We could see here the system. Clearly, clearly that's a that's a PlayStation 5. We have some built-in games. It seems like they've done a deal with like Nintendo and Sega to put like pre-built games on here. That's freaking awesome, dude. I can't believe they managed to do that. We got two controllers here. You know, just awesome stuff. Look at this thing, man. 4K Ultra HD 4K in this. We have HD out, 2.4 gigabyte wireless, a freaking SD card. Oh, man. I am, I am so excited for this. I, I can't contain my excitement to check this out so clearly this is like almost a a a mini you know a, a slim the slim model we have the stand here of course because you got to have the stand for it now the controllers themselves um a little a little on the lightweight side you know once again no sony branding on here but that's you know it's probably because of you know this is this is all just still in the works it's still in development takes batteries so they're taking a page from microsoft there with the xbox controllers that's pretty interesting and then here is the system itself oh man oh man this is heavy and by heavy i mean it's it's pretty it's pretty light it's pretty pretty small as well but we have our power buttons here we have our joy joy one and joy two for our joy cons i guess maybe <laughs> um we have our uh place to put in our power supply a micro sd card and our hdmi cable so this is a lot smaller than the playstation 5 is a lot lighter too so this is pretty much the playstation 5 pro slim at this point i guess you would call it so kind of like a a, a multi-model of different systems here and of course we've got the pre-built games on it let's go ahead and put it on the stand too so we can see how that looks this seems to be the most difficult part okay there's there's Four, there's four things, four prongs. Oh, it looks like one of the, or two of the prongs are kind of, kind of short. Is that, is that how it goes? It doesn't really, oh, there we go. There we go. So now we have it on the stand. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. So let's go ahead and hook this up to the monitor and we can see the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro exclusively here on RGT85. Alrighty, here we go. The moment of truth. The GameStation 5 Pro. We're going to see the power of the PlayStation 5 Pro or GameStation, whatever Sony's calling that. I don't really know. I guess because it's still in the prototype stage and we got some main games here. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is not an official King of Fighters game. I'm not the biggest King of Fighters fan in the world, but I'm pretty sure they never made 2002 Magic Plus 2 or the situation featuring the Jersey Shore. I'm guessing this is just going to be like a rant. 1,500, 1500 pages. And there's like 10 games per page. We've got Super Comics Hero American version. I wonder how these games run. I, I am going to take a wild guess and say maybe not the best quality. Maybe. What, what is this? Super King of Fighters versus Street Fighter Strengthen? Okay, I love these these Chinese clone consoles that just have weird names for stuff though. That always that always makes me smile. Um, oh, it's got Kawax. What the hell? It clearly says Ragnagar, not Kawax. Like, why can't you get that right? Oh, we've got Wrestlefest. All right, so this will be the first game that we check out on here. Let's check out Wrestlefest because obviously we got to see how the emulation is running on this native 
PlayStation 5 Pro system. And I'm sure that this is going to be like upscaled and stuff and just look absolutely amazing. I really like this little monitor I have, by the way. It's very handy for when I just want to play something and I don't have much faith in it. So I don't know if it's picking up the audio of the game, but I will say the the audio sounds very wrong. It's it's very garbled and it's not supposed to sound like that. Um so my hopes are going down a little bit with this. You know, I think Jim Ryan might have rushed this out the door, maybe just to get it to me in a timely manner like they had to rush it out of the door. So I kind of understand that. Oh no, this isn't no, this is running slower than it should be. Uh, the audio is completely garbled. The camera is having a hard time fixating on me, which shouldn't be a problem. Like, I don't even know how you make that happen because that feels like something you have to go out of your way to do. The control is severely lagged. I'm, oh, my God. What is this noise? Listen to this. Hold on. I'm hoping that picked up. If it didn't, then there's just going to be a weird cut in it. But this is disgusting. How are you struggling with a game from 1991? A great game, by the way. I have a custom main cabinet for WrestleFest. I know how this game is supposed to sound and play, and it is not like this. This, oh man. All right, let's see, let's see what else is on this thing. You know what, we might make a long video out of this because now I am just curious to see what the hell is on here and how bad it all runs and plays. All right, so obviously not the best first impression there. Um. What the hell are these games? Did it freeze? No, it's just lagging to to pull up these games. So I don't even, I don't even know what these are. Like I don't want to click one and, and play it if it's not it's Crazy Creatures Krusty's Funhouse. You know what? I'm very familiar with the Krusty's Funhouse song and I love it to death. So this might be a good indicator. I'm not sure if this is Super Nintendo, if this is NES, if this is Genesis. Um, okay, so it's a claim 92, so it's either Super Nintendo or Genesis. But I, I God only knows what the controls are for this. What? <laughs> it's it's not running it right. You can see there's some weird flicker going on. The colors are completely wrong. That's not my monitor. The music is way slowed down. But okay, so here's something weird. I don't think the... All right, this is my song. It's a half second slow. But the gameplay doesn't feel, like, slow. But the colors are completely wrong for this. Like, I'm, I'm very familiar with this game. Maybe this is the... I don't know. I don't This is terrible, though. There's so much input lag when you press the button to move and stuff. Like, okay, so I was just pressing back, and he never ran back. Wow. How are you butchering the classics? And the thing that sucks is I have to like bend down to reset this thing every time. This is this is terrible. The buttons don't even freaking react half the time. Okay, so if we're struggling with old crusty games, literally with with Krusty's super fun house there and um obviously you know, uh, we weren't we weren't doing too well with WrestleFest. How in the hell are we going to run Marvel superheroes? Like, I'm sorry. To me, Marvel superheroes seems like a bit of a more advanced game. So let's check that one out now. Like, I hate how there's like no good folder system on this either. Like everything is just thrown in here. Hodgepodge. What were you thinking, Jim Ryan? You got all these cool games for us to check out, but th 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 you don't have anything good going with it. The European version, the Western Hemisphere. So don't tell them that we're not in the Western Hemisphere. You know, I want turbo mode. What are you talking about? I want to see the power of this thing. Uh, I mean, it's not right. It's definitely slowed down. But the audio is better than WrestleFest. The colors are more accurate than Krusty was. But it's still not good. Like it's it's still horrible. Like there's input lag. I can't do anything right now. The jumping is 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 very stiff. Um, I'm using the D pad. I guess I could use the analog stick. The analog stick honestly doesn't feel horrible on this controller. But this this isn't right. Like it, it's not correct. And when you're when you have things that aren't correct, 
like I don't understand where the joy in playing these games are. I still got the KO though. Suck it, Spider-Man. Wolverine. Beast mode. Does this shadow seem incorrect as well? I feel like that shadow is way too pronounced and is not an actual thing. Someone will have to tell me in the comment section, is that an actual thing or not? Because I, I feel like I feel like it's not. But it might be. I don't know. It's been a minute since I played my um arcade one up Marvel Superheroes cabinet. All right, let, let's see if we can find a game that like runs without any problems. So I'm losing a little bit of faith with this system. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you know, I, I feel like the quality control on pretty much everything from the from the game selection here. Do I need the Street Fighter 2 for Heavenly Kings? Several versions of it. Uh, maybe I do. Maybe I do. And I just don't realize it. Um you know everything's just kind of thrown in here together i'm assuming this will be double drag okay that's that's arcade stuff so we're kind of in the arcade section there's a lot of games on here like don't get me wrong with that but quantity does not is not indicative of quality with this system as we've seen so far i want to see some nes games because i'm pretty sure that there are nes games on here if this thing cannot run an nes game properly then i i i don't know what to say I don't know what to say. We've been able to emulate NES stuff properly for two plus decades now. Like I was using Nesticle back in the day. I wonder if there is any like Mario on here or if they if they got too afraid. It's like Jesus Christ, man, there's so many games on here. Like I'm on page 107 of 1500. Oh God. Um, maybe I went too far. So we're in the CP. Can I can I switch? Oh, here we go. Look at the features. This is a feature rich system, folks. I was I was mistaken. Let's go. All right, Famicom. Let's check out the Famicom class reading. Give me Mario. I just want to see Mario Brothers one. And we're I'm also assuming that this is gonna allow me to select, you know, Famicom games and allow me to play them and actually find them because this is taking its sweet time right now this is all in real time if i have to sit through and suffer with this you have to sit through and suffer with this my pain is your pleasure so hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet i'm starting to run out of things to say because this is taking its sweet sweet time to class read that's how big and vast the nintendo entertainment system library is on this system the famicom i'm assuming there's japanese famicom games as well did this thing freeze i don't know because there's no sort of indication that anything is loading beyond just the class reading aspect of it i'm going to give this a few more seconds and then if it's still not going i guess i will restart this system for the hundredth time that i have restarted of this system i feel like it's still working but i don't know that it's still working because god forbid it gives me some sort of real-time indication you couldn't make those little dots on the end there blink just a little bit just a little bit so i know that it's actually doing something i guess not you can't be bothered to do that you've got better things to do so at least i know if i start at the bottom i kind of get to some home console stuff so I'm going to try to find something that I feel like this should play with, with no problem. That's an old. You're going to try PlayStation stuff on. You're out of your damn mind. You are out of your damn mind. Oh, now I've got to try a PlayStation game. This will never end. This video will never end. The Dinosaur Crisis. Resident Evil 3, you're out of your mind. We're just going to try Mortal Kombat Trilogy. This, this is not going to work. I can tell you right now with 100% certainty that this will not work the way that it should work. That seems a little bit slow. I do miss Midway, though. Midway was such a fun company. Bro, this is going to be absolute butt cheeks. It's already crinkling on the audio. Yes, I understand what, what's going on with Mortal Kombat. I'm the movie guy. I made a video... Did it, did it, okay, it did. Pretty sure there's supposed to be music here, but alas, there isn't. Where the hell is the music? I love the music in this game. All right, so I guess we don't, I guess we don't get the music. That's fine. Let's see if, uh, so there's no music. 
I'm guessing they got rid of the music in order to maybe speed up the gameplay. I feel like I'm controlling Scorpion, but I feel like I'm not, if that makes any sort of sense. But I will say, it's running better than WrestleFest did. They had to turn off the music, but it's running better than WrestleFest did. So what we have here is a system that doesn't quite know what it wants to do. And I guess it makes sense, you know, that PlayStation 1 emulation would be a little bit better considering that this is a Sony, <laughs> official Sony product. So, um, uh, what the hell's block? I don't know. Come on, whatever. Um, you know, so I guess the PlayStation 5 emulation would be better on here, but it's still not perfect. I'm still on the quest for a perfect game. These emulation and crappy game systems are going to be the death of me. This is probably speeding up my heart issues. But you know what? I, I do it for you guys. Okay, so we have a full dump here of some system. It could be, I guess I could tell by the version of toy story that's on there if there's a lot of super games i'm feeling like this is genesis um no it's super super tennis super valis super punch out so i guess this is super nintendo all right you know what mar super mario all-stars this is all i can takes we are gonna try out super mario all-stars on this godforsaken system if this system cannot run this, hey, you know what? The colors are right. We're we're off to a decent start here. Um, it's it's not perfect. There there's significant input lag. I don't think the game is necessarily running imperfect, but I do feel like the input lag is is definitely real and you know people say with a lot of these emulation systems oh input lag input lag i never really experienced them because i feel like we've sort of moved on from that but this i i definitely feel it i feel it in the in the controls it doesn't feel smooth it doesn't feel correct it feels a little half step off if that makes any sense but this is running decently the colors seem to be correct there's music so, you know what? This is a win for the system. Everything else about this thing sucks. Um, it's horrible. And Sony should be ashamed of this thing. But uh, let's get to my final thoughts. So, what are my final thoughts on it? It sucks.